Thank you to SWA Autosports for sponsoring this video. Are you looking to modify your 11th Gen Civic? If so, make sure SWA Autosports is your number one spot to shop for mods and accessories. We are a small but growing business that want to deliver quality parts at a decent price. We have tail lights, headlights, diffusers, emblems, grills, which I'm going to install in this video, and much, much more. I'm also going to offer you a 10% discount on everything on the website if you use my code 717 at checkout. Thank you again to SWA Autosports for sponsoring this video. Let's open the box and see what's inside. Yo, 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 ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be installing an SI looking gloss black grill in the 2022 Honda Civic Sport. Now, I already have the bumper off. I did that in the last video. In fact, I've made many, many videos of me removing the bumper. I'll leave a link down in the description for that video. Check it out after this video. First thing we need to do is we need to remove the top piece of the bumper. Here's the emblem. And then here's the top of the grill. This is painted, so we need to take this off, put it on here. Should be pretty easy. We have some tabs under here, the whole way underneath. And then to remove these fins, there's some tabs as well. And then the grill has a clip here, and a clip here, and then just tabs. We've got some screws to take out. Two here, a bunch around here by the emblem, and then two over here on this side. to pull this weather strip off. I'm not sure if you need to do it, but I'm gonna do it just because I think it's in the way of things. Okay, now we can start popping clips. Okay, so what I'm, gonna, what I'm doing is I'm turning it. I get it in there and I turn it, and I have my fingers back here to pull from the, uh, the upper part, and I'm just kind of wiggling my fingers back there to get that to come out. It's almost there. Thing is, I don't want to damage either part. There we go. And then these other tabs just kind of do the same thing, except they're not in there as bad as the end ones are. That's a good thing, because then the ends won't pop up. So many tabs in here. You just got to be careful on how you're doing it. You don't want to break anything. So just grab a flathead screwdriver and just go in there you're gonna to have to get your hand back here unless you have help. Someone's gonna to have to pull on this or you're just gonna to have to get your hand back there and, and do it yourself. I'm gonna to have to remove this fin piece. Really just push down the back of the tab and push up. Then there's one right here on the end and then the very end you have to pull out and it slides out. tabs are so big. Now this is the part I'm most worried about because I don't want this to fly forward onto the ground. So I'm going to try to hold it with my thumb as I get this out and uh, hopefully we'll be okay. Got it. Now let's finish up and take the rest of the grill off. So here what you're doing is you're twi put it in, twist it, and pull back towards you. out. So we need to remove these end pieces from the factory grill and put them on the new one. There's a little tab right here. Grab your screwdriver. Do what you've been doing this whole time. Take the end. Slide it under here. 
The tab is right there. Push the tab in. Make sure everything is lined up before you push anything in. I'm going to run the clips in that I pulled out at the beginning. I'm going to put these back emblem plates on too. I put this back in and realized how much it's blocking this part of the honeycomb. So I'm just going to leave these out. I don't know why they're there in the first place. She's all buttoned up, it's time to throw her on the car. When you're putting this in, make sure all the tabs line up before you snap them in place, because if you don't, you might have to pull part of it back off again. So the next question is, what emblem am I gonna use? I'm gonna use the black one. It's gonna be way too hard to get that blue one off. Dental floss will not do it. So I'm gonna throw the black one on it. I'll get it painted eventually, because I have quite a few other things I need to get painted too. I'm gonna head to the recon shop, cleaner. She is filthy, and yes, I put the factory wheels back on. It's gonna be winter time here very soon. I had a nail in the right front tire anyway, so I figured, you know what? I'll just swap back to factory for now, and then come the end of February, beginning of March, I'll throw the wheels back on. If not a different set of wheels, I think I might go a different route come spring. So what do you think? Do you like it? You don't like it? Let me know in the comments below. I gotta throw that blue emblem back on there. There's no doubt about it. Hopefully I can get that done here in the next couple weeks. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, you know what to do. And as always, this was your boy Miller. I'll see you in the next one.